380 pounds! Oh, what a moonsault! Yeah. They say never say never in the WWE. Pro wrestling has proven to be a place where the impossible has indeed become possible. Retired legends have returned to the ring from death-defying injuries. The smallest superstars have been the largest of men. Memories have formed as wrestlers have become immortal. However, for these upcoming stars, it can conclusively be said that they will never appear in the WWE again. Due to their own actions, these five performers will never compete in the biggest company in sports entertainment. Whether it was through their own controversial beliefs, their self-destructive words, or even their abuse of power, here is a list of wrestlers that were banned from the WWE for life. And why don't we begin with someone who used his position of power within the WWE itself to become one of the most abusive people in the history of the company? Bill DeMott For those who don't know, Bill DeMott is a former pro wrestler turned trainer for the WWE's Performance Center. Down there, DeMond took it upon himself to train these young and hungry athletes to become superstars of the future. However, the methods he used to train were downright abusive. Seen by him as tough love, Bill would use his position of power to bully newcomers. Daniel Pewter, a former trainee under DeMont, as well as a former MMA competitor, called his methods unprofessional and unacceptable. He has been accused of many overly offensive things, such as making racist and homophobic remarks, continuously telling wrestlers to kill themselves, kicking the injured body parts of herd competitors, and even going so far as to hit his students with a yardstick. A position of power like that is tough, absolutely, but there is no excuse for that kind of behavior. However, one person who decided to challenge such a dictator was a wrestler simply known as Nails. Back in the early 90s, the 6'5 behemoth made his debut in the WWE with the story that he was once a prisoner. And, as a prisoner, he had a few run-ins with the man who worked for the prison at the time, Big Boss Man. So, the story was that Nails was out for revenge. However, before he could really get a jump start on his career, Nails was ultimately released by Vince McMahon himself in 1992. Why? Well, because Nails reportedly strangled Vince McMahon in his own office. The two men were arguing over a financial issue, in which Nails believed that he deserved more money than he got in his match against Virgil at last year's SummerSlam event. But when Vince ultimately disagreed with him, Nails launched into an attack. He knocked the boss out of his chair and started strangling him right then and there, before the two men were finally separated. This would then begin an ugly rivalry in court between Nails and Vince. Nails would throw wild accusations at Vince, such as a sexual assault charge that was quickly dropped. Nails was even involved in the notorious 1994 steroid trial, stating that Vince had told him to take steroids. The hatred by both men lingered on before Nails retired in 2001, failing to capture any notable success in the wrestling business. But while Nails went on to try and destroy Vince McMahon, Sonny has unfortunately seen herself banned from the WWE by her own self-destructive actions. Sonny, a former manager of some of the most legendary acts in wrestling history, has been dealing with a whole host of issues. Substances have sadly taken over her life, even though WWE has done everything they can to help her, with them even paying for her rehab, Sonny has continued to let them down. Multiple DUIs, burglary, and even manslaughter after drunkenly driving and accidentally killing a 75-year-old man in 2022. Despite their best efforts of the company to keep her WWE legacy intact, Sonny has burned every last bridge with the company and will most likely never be seen again under the WWE umbrella. However, while Sunny has seen her status as a legend crash and burn, Zara Schreiber never had the luxury of being a legend in the wrestling business. No, her actions that caused her to be kicked out of the WWE happened all the way back in 2015 when she was still a competitor on NXT. She had made controversial posts on social media that highlighted some of the more controversial sides to her personality. It turns out that she's actually something over World War II buff, as it was revealed through a series of posts that she stands on the side of the Nazis. Yeah. In this day and age, supporting the Nazis is looked down upon, and so these posts cost her her job in NXT. But those aren't the only controversial posts made by the former NXT competitor. You see, for a while, Schreiber was in a relationship with Seth Rollins, and during the relationship, they had apparently sent some rather lewd photos back and forth. But Schreiber decided to make those pictures very public. As in 2015, Seth's little architect was blasted onto the internet. Seth, of course, was one of the WWE's biggest stars at that point as a future WWE champion and former member of The Shield. So, WWE decided to distance themselves from her, and she's not been seen since. But at least she was signed to the WWE, unlike her final point of conversation in Tessa Blanchard. 
Now, Tessa was seen as one of the biggest stars in the independent wrestling scene. She's worked anywhere and everywhere, climbing the rankings and finding success all over the world. She was even the first ever woman to win the Impact World Championship. Hell, she was even in the Mae Young Classic run by WWE. So, what happened? Well, quite like our first topic of conversation, Tessa had earned herself a reputation of being an abusive co-worker. She was known by many women throughout the industry to be verbally and physically abusive to her co-workers, as well as use racist words in her vocabulary during said abuse. Since the allegations, she's gone on to appear in few of her promotions, most notably the now-relaunched Women of Wrestling promotion. She has since had a falling out with the company, adding WOW to the ever-growing list of places she won't work with. These allegations have been taken very seriously by the WWE. What was once WWE's most sought-after female performer in the world has now been shunned by most of the industry, with WWE erasing her name from potential signings. However, while these five performers may have been banned from the WWE, you certainly have not been banned from this channel. So please, subscribe to stay up to date on all of our videos relating to the world of sports entertainment. Be sure to like and comment, as well as any other examples we may have missed. Have a good day, and take care of each other.